city of Surrey has a vision and the city of Surrey wants to create livable, walkable, sustainable communities. And the Surrey Light Rail Project, the phase one in particular, the Surrey Newton Guilford line, is a way to get there. And it's a common, it's not the light rail is, is the answer, it's, it's a vision for how to create communities. So it's an all in conversation. We can provide with the light rail project um, a, a better transportation, more reliable transportation that helps to attract development. But the city of Surrey has to do a lot of work to make sure that development is there, to, to create a, a welcoming environment for the right kind of development, sustainable development and development that works for the people of city of Surrey. That's their vision. We want to help them. We want to help the city of Surrey realize that vision. The light rail project is a means to an end, and it's a larger conversation about what that end is, and that's sustainable communities. It is a bit of a making the case scenario because it's a new technology. So I do believe that it's it, it, that residents need to be informed of what the rationale was way back whenever the mayor's vision started some number of years ago. Uh, and I, I think the sheer geography of our city is a pretty significant argument in terms of covering us off with rapid transit as we grow into the largest uh, populated city in the in the province. But I do, uh, I, I believe that it does take a little bit more understanding. People are a little worried, is that going to affect the pace of uh, uh, their transportation if they're in a vehicle and no it will not does it is it as fast as SkyTrain will it get me from A to B any quicker so there's a lot around the city shaping and what livability in this region means and the proximity to jobs and how we're hoping to escalate that with the shaping of this city so it is a question of making sure that everyone understands the vision